In the days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalong cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave Source Hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever Source appears, Hunters follow. and shine, Master Source Hunters. The cabin wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you go in there, Master Source Hunters. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sysil, nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, Hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sysir. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off on the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If we are to get justice for the counselor, you'll have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, source hunters. I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west. I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? What? Did you expect it to have an entourage? this. The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. Well, great deeds require the occasional leap of faith. I myself might have done the same. True enough. History is made by those willing to risk it all. How did they find us? Take the stone to the temple. These whelps will be easy to crush. As you say, Madam Conduit. Arise 
prepare death. Seize upon our enemies. <laughs> Their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? Those thieves were more than petty criminals. Their leader gave life to the dead. What stone could they have been so keen on taking? We can't well turn away from such an odious show of source. Let's investigate the tomb and see what answers it might reveal. Indeed. For all we know, these dark-dealing thieves may be involved with Councillor Jake's murder. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. I was really hoping to find something better. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day.
I've spotted something interesting. Imagine our weapons would survive such use for long. I've spotted a trap. hear voices downstairs. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. Something isn't right here. It could be an ambush.
guess someone else got here first. A living rat dares disturb the slumber of the dead. A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Cycele is mine to preserve. Her traitors are mine to destroy. I suppose you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you had no lust for the treasure of the dead. Ha! Strange indeed. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution, deceiver. The Bloodstone, deliver it now and I may deign to end you quickly. Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. death. Death never dies, fool. Death in a thousand forms rules all. Is Master Rage Quinn's second apprentice, killed by dying. Here lies Master Rage Quinn's first apprentice, killed by a falling corpse.
the shell's lament, yield me unto the water. Look, look, a wanderer comes my way, walking the sands upon which this poor shell must suffer. Call me Ishmael, son of the sea, an outcast upon these wretched shores. An exiled shell doomed to live under a canopy of arid sky, not his native tender water. Of course I can talk. Don't be silly. There's more tongue to me than heart. Indeed, the surprise should be mine, for I still remember the days when your kind swung from branches and plucked the vermin out of their neighbor's fur. <laughs> Time is an indulgent mistress to one who spends happy hours as she passes. But when your existence is one of misery, she becomes a lethargic hobby. Oh, I remember ancient times, for I have lain here since antiquity, when the ruins around us were palaces and the sun-bleached dead merry children. All this I have seen, alive, alone, alas. My fate is a cruel one, I assure you. How many snot noses have held me up against their dirty little ears, only to claim they can hear the ocean? Of course they can hear her, but rats. We are on the very edge of the great aquatic mother, whose embrace I so desperately long for. Yes, yes, I, King of Pearls, ache to repose anew on his coral throne. Hurl me toward the water. Swing me as far as your arm strength gives lease, and treasure long sunk, I will grant thee. What do you say, kind knight? Will you return the King of Pearls to the sea, so he may yield you long lost treasure? Kindness is its own reward. Then there's the promise of treasure to boot. Let's throw him into the sea. Agreed. Let's send him home. Liberator, kind benefactor, bless me the might of your sea-bound fish. The sea, the sea, I have returned, where every wave feels like a mermaid's kiss. May the bounty of the deep be yours, along with my eternal gratitude. Right there, orc scum. No one slips past the Legion unchallenged. Calm down, Junius. Doesn't look, look like one of them orcs to me. <laughs> Not a single orc in sight, you know. Just hold your tongue with you, Bibius. Can't be too careful. We are sworn to protect Sightseal. We're Legionnaires, of course. On the lookout for orcs. For they be attacking from the sea. God knows why they do it, but we stand firm. We of the Legion, liberators of Rivalon. Uh, liberators of liquor, too, aren't we, old chum? <laughs> Shh! Just pipe down, will you, Bibius? Aye, a noble word for watchdog, that. And that is what we do. Watch over the local dogs that ever so often aim for one another's throat and separate them to keep the peace. Separate by the sword, that is. 
Best way to calm a wily dog is to neuter it. Ha! <laughs> spay for pay. Legion's motto. Just put a sock in it, will you, bedious? Ever kept the watch? Stood on the lookout for hours on end, bored stiff. Boredom's a demon buddy, and booze is the demon hunter. <laughs> there. I do declare it's time for this hunter to take another shot. Huzzah! <laughs> so, you're sorcerers, are you? And how are we supposed to verify that's true? We can't read, my friend. So for all we know, those papers say you're a polymorph parrot on the lookout for a two-bedroom birdcage. They don't prove a thing. You know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. I know he reads. He has books large as a house, that one. Yeah, he'll squeeze the truth out of you one way or another. <laughs> I don't need an escort, especially not a drunken one. Back off or face me. And face me, too. You two are a disgrace to your uniforms. You defy the Legion, will you? The punishment for that offense is... Well, there we have it. Two dead legionnaires. This feels wrong. We really shouldn't have. I think you're right. We had no real reason to kill them, and yet we did. In cold blood. <laughs> 